Hi everyone, today I'm going to be stepping through how you can install chart.js within your Angular application. So I just created a new folder just so that way I'm coming off of a clean slate. So I'm going to go ahead and say ng new and then say my app. And I'll say yes for this, I'll choose SAS, it doesn't really matter for our purposes. And I'll let this install. All right, so now that I've installed the app, we can see here that we actually have the folder for our application. So within the terminal, I'm gonna go ahead and just change into the my app directory. And we're gonna to have to install two packages here for this to work. We're gonna be installing ng2 charts, which helps integrate uh, chart.js with Angular and provides a nice interface and keeps things simple. And then we're also going to install chart.js. And then we're going to save this so that way, if you were to use this in the future, different computer, you can install the node modules. All right, so now that we have those node modules installed, we're going to go into our source folder. We're going to go into the app and then go into the app module.ts folder. And so you would use whatever module file you're using. So if you have different components, you'll import it in there. But we're going to say we're going to import charts module from ng2charts. And then for our imports, add a comma here and then say that we're going to use charts module. So now we can actually start using it. And it's pretty simple to do this. So we're going to go into the app component here and Really quickly, if we were to do a ng-serve-o, which is going to open up a local web server, it looks like this. And basically, the nice thing about this command is that any changes that we make will be updated live. So let's go ahead and I just want to clean up this HTML. I don't really need uh, what they're offering right now. So we're going to go ahead and create a new canvas object and we're going to add some properties in here. So we're going to type in base chart. We're going to say the chart type. And I'm going to make this a donut chart. I believe I spelled that right. We'll find out eventually. Say our data sets equal chart data set. Say our labels equal chart labels. We also need options. This will be chart options. We must have a legend property set to true. All right, so we can go ahead and save that. And what we should see is the HTML should be different. All right, so it took a little while for Angular to recognize my changes, but now you can see that the markup is gone, but we're still not seeing anything. Now we have some properties that we need to set within the components file. And so for this, we're going to have to define chart data sets, chart labels, and chart options. Um, and I would also just take note, this is donut uh, on the outside wrapped in double quotes, but on the inside it's just a single quote. So the reason we're doing that is we want to pass a string literal instead of a property that we define over here. So within our app component.ts, we're going to create chart options, and we're going to set the responsive property equal true. And then we also need to set our chart data sets. And this is an array. And for this, we'll say that our data is equal to a new array. And then we'll just have one, two, and three. And then we also need to set our chart labels. And it's just going to be an array of strings. Um, and I'll just say first, second, and third eventually just go ahead and add semicolons to the end of everything so let's go ahead and save that our app should recompile all right so as of right now um, if you were to rerun this you'd see that the chart is still not showing up and what we actually need to do is set a div here and I'm just going to for our purposes give it a width of 100 pixels so that way we can get going uh, it's better to put this in like containers with bootstrap and stuff, but we'll go ahead and save that. And voila, there we go. Here is our chart, obviously huge. 
but we set our first equal to first and it's fully interactive. And so all these options are fully customizable. So there's a lot more options that you go to. I will link to some resources down in the description below and hopefully that can help. If you have any problems, just leave it in the comments and I will try to help you as best as I can. I hope this helped. Thank you for watching.